If flowers were fairies, and we're starting with the lotus, because it's my favourite flower. So I hope she turns out pretty. I feel that she would look quite elegant, so I'm going to give her like a bun. And I intend to do this with most of the fairies, but I think that I can incorporate the shape of the flower, like the petals, into the clothes. I think she could be holding a little frog, because they both live on the pond. And I think to go with the pond theme, I could give her sort of dragonfly wings. Sort of like thin, thinnish wings, like, like that. I had this phase as a kid where I used to turn everything into fairies. Like all the elements like fire, water, air, ice. And I just kind of stopped when I grew out of it. But I think it's time for me to revisit that phase. I think I'll give her golden hair, because that's the colour of the middle of the flower. What do you call that even? What's it called? And then her top is like this greyish, and then it sort of peters out into pink. And I think her wings can simply be a sort of translucent, slightly bluish. Oh, and of course the frog is green. And I guess because the petals are all like overlapping each other, there's gonna be a few shadows here and there. Quick, add some highlights. I think she's pretty cute so far, just needs some more rendering which happens to be my greatest weakness, if I'm to be honest. It does kind of feel like she's like a Disney princess and the little frog is her little mascot. He's just a little guy. I think she's quite colourful, but she could be more colourful. I'm just gonna play around with the colours a bit. Saturation hue? Ooh, what is that? And also the tone curve a bit. Actually, maybe not. Alright, so here's the lotus flower. You can see that I used the... What do you call that part of the flower? Like the innermost... The seed? It's called the pistil and the stamen. And that's too complicated. Anyway, you can see I used the yellow part of the flower for her hair. And then the petals for her dress. And then I gave her these shiny dragonfly wings because I thought that was quite appropriate for a lotus on a lake. And she's holding a little frog. There, there's the lotus flower. Alright, next we have the sunflower. And because it's a sunflower, you know, I could. I was thinking she could be like wearing a sundress. I was thinking that because the sunflower's got a wide brim, it could be like a hat. If I know how to draw hats, that is. It's okay, if you don't know, just look up a reference. Goes like this, and then down, and then like this, and then like this. And her sundress will look fairly simple. And it's gonna be like really cute. Maybe with like a belt. That's quite trendy. I'm just gonna shrink her head a little bit. I feel like it's a bit big. Shoop. What kind of wings should she have? Some kind of land insect. Hmm. Wait, why don't... I'm gonna give her like fun, like little funky like feathered uh, shoulders. That looks kind of strange. But we vibe with strange. Okay, it doesn't look too weird, I hope. First I need to steal these colours, yoink. That's quite orange actually, it's meant to be yellow. And her wide brim hat will be brown, and her hair will also be brown, just darker. I want her to have a very warm tone vibe to her. You know what, I'm just gonna give her normal wings. Like, the really generic. Yeah, like that. I do feel like the hat is a bit much. Should I get rid of the hat? It kind of obstructs the view of the wings. Yeah, I mean fairies don't wear hats anyway, do they? So this hand and the dress is at a tangent, which makes it look kind of uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna, yeah, just overlap them like this. You know, I kind of missed a hat. Should I bring it back? I'll draw a smaller one. There, I think that looks a little bit better. How's the weather like in your country? I know it can be a bit weird in spring, like end of March, beginning of April is that weird transition phase. It's definitely getting warmer though. Because she is very clearly a summer girl and it's probably gonna be a blue sky, I'm just adding like tints of blue in the shadows and on the highlights and stuff. I think I'm gonna cross hatch this part to give it some texture. And you know like those summer picnic baskets? It kind of looks like those, which is pretty cute. Yep, yep. I want to put highlights in her eyes because she's quite a cheerful character, but I don't want her to look too bright eyed because I like my characters to look a little bit dead inside. It's too bright. Like that. Alright, I'm just gonna add some 
splash of light. Whoop. And in my opinion, the sunflower is done. Isn't she cute? Look at her. You can see she's got the summer smile, the summer hat, the summer sundress, and the very basic fairy wings. I thought the hat could be like the, the center part of the flower, and then the petals are obviously her dress, and I tried to incorporate some of the shape into here. And she's looking happy, because it's summer. Alright, next we have the pansy. But I was thinking, so there's the yellow stalk thing, but then this shape? They kind of look like wings already. So I was thinking I could make the person, the fairy himself, very small and make the wings massive. You'll know what I mean soon enough. So I kind of mean like this. And then the wings are light and blue with this gorgeous purple-ish, indigo-ish, I don't know what colour it is, in the middle, but like prettier. And then you know this tiny sliver of yellow? This could be him, this little fella. If you look closely, you can also see that the petals themselves have those little lines that kind of resemble wings. So I'm gonna put those in too. They're quite all over the place actually. Like this and like that. Wee. So he's bullied by the other fairy children because his wings are too big and he can't fly because he doesn't have the strength yet to flap his large wings. But then later on he grows up to become one of the best flyers in the fairy kingdom and he lives happily ever after. Don't bully others kids. Shall we give him a shadow? Maybe add some more light? And there we have the pansy. He is a shy boy, just a quiet little dude. So this part is just his little bob of hair. And then as you can see, the petals are his wings. And I made the rest of him just kind of plain. And yeah, he's in a ugly duckling type of situation where he's kind of unfortunate as a kid, but then he grows up and he's glamorous. All right, nice. Next, we have the wisteria, another purplish flower. But this time it's a tree flower and it dangles down from the branches, which I think could make for an interesting character. I need to think about this one. Maybe the hair? Like wee, Like twin tails? Alright, I have an idea. Wisteria is gonna be a funny one. So I was thinking that she could sit on the branches and dangle. And do you know how wisteria they kind of have layers of flowers? I was thinking she could wear a dress that's also sort of layered with ruffles, like this. They kind of taper out and then go in again, all the way down. And she's going to be quite sad because it's in the name, Wisteria. She's quite wistful. As for the wing, I thought maybe she could have like beetle wings because she's a tree flower and those kinds of insects live on trees. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool. Alrighty. Yoink. This is such a nice shade of purple. I guess her hair can be brown for the tree colour, and her wings will also be fairly dark, I think. Or should they be green? Maybe they should be green for the leaves. So she's like a green ladybug sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure how to shade these ruffles, so I'm just gonna wing it for now. <laughs> wing it. <laughs> well, ruffles are quite random, so by shading randomly, I'm just adding to the effect, if you know what I mean. Let's give her hair some shine. I'm trying to sort of make her legs a bit visible through the dress, like the shape of her legs. And I'm gonna add just slight green tints to the purple, just to balance it out. And maybe her wings will have little cute lines on them, as bug wings do. Let's not talk about the feet. And I think all it needs now is some highlights. Am I doing this right? I'm not really sure. Just gonna tidy her up real quick. Ooh, okay, there's Wisteria done. She was kind of difficult, not gonna lie. I think she's cute, and she's still not even done, like, she's pretty rough. But this is my definition of done, so there we go. You can see she has the beetle wings, and they are green to represent the leaf part of the Wisteria. And I tried to make the rest of her very droopy, like her hair and her dress to mimic the wisteria flower. She's probably quite sad all the time, like heartbroken or thinking about life or something. And she's always really tired, so she's always like sleeping on the branches. 
I do think that she would be the weird kid of any social circle. She'd be like the one in her constant emo phase, the one always like quoting stuff from things that nobody has ever heard of. Anyway, that's her. I think she's cute. Last but not least, Cherry Blossom. A well-known favourite. It's nearly Cherry Blossom season, so I thought I'd include it here. I just don't know how to design this. Mm. Please give me some inspiration. Yes, you. Alright, I have an idea. I kind of want to incorporate the shape, the unique shape of the cherry blossom leaf into his clothes. Maybe he can have gloves? That would be cool. I want him to be like, kind of like a prince. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really vibing with this sketch. Hopefully it'll turn out better. Maybe his little buttons can be little cherry blossoms. That is a whack looking flower. This arm looks weird, I'm going to rub it away. What should he be doing? Putting his hand on his hip or... No, he looks like a, a teapot. Short and stout. I don't know what to do with this other arm. I'm stuck. I am stuck. You know what? Since he's also a tree flower, he'll just be roaming around the trees. And I think he shall have mini wings. I'll make him... A, I'll give him a few wrinkles. Like a grandpa. Because I do feel like the cherry blossom has been loved and known for many years and it's got like a place in tradition you know there's something off about the sketch but i fiddled with it too much and i can't tell what's wrong with it now so i'm just gonna go ahead and color it in oh it looks better now that i've enlarged it maybe the problem was the legs what color should his hair be gray white gray let's do gray as he's an old man looking good and old so far i do feel Let's just give his wings like a blue tint. The pink against the blue is always so pretty. I'm just gonna move this branch. Maybe I'll add another branch, like here. Alright, how about some shading? There we go. I didn't really think about this, but for an old man, he has quite the youngish haircut. But that's okay, he can be like a, a cool youngish old man. Oh my god, everything's on one layer? I did not anticipate that. I think I accidentally merged the sketch layer too early. Oh well. Oh no, I definitely merged the layers too early. I need to like rub these <laughs> sketch lines out, but it's already merged with the color layer, which sucks. It sucks. When did I even do that? All right, let's give him some light blue eyes, like the sky. Like the sky. I mean, now that I'm looking at it, his jacket looks kind of stupid. Like I tried to follow the shape of the petals and stuff, but I'm not sure if it really worked out. But I'm not sure if I can salvage it at this point. I'm too far in. Should I give him a little tie as well? A dainty little tie. There we go. Maybe I can fix him. <laughs> Maybe I can fix him. Maybe I could make everything slightly more pink. Is that too pink? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much further than that. I think I'll finish it there with Cherry Blossom Dude. Alright, there we go. He is the grandfather of the fairies, the Cherry Blossom. You can see his jacket is in the shape of the Cherry Blossom petals, and so is his collar, and so are his wings. And he's wearing gloves to, to kind of make him look more posh. He can't fly very well because of the shape of his wings, they're not quite streamlined, and they kind of have that fork to them. But that's okay because he's really good at hopping around branches. So we had the lotus, and then we had the sunflower, then the pansy, then the wisteria, and the cherry blossom. I think my favourite is the lotus, but I'm biased because my favourite flower is the lotus. But I also just kind of like the shape of her dress and her wings, and the fact that she's holding a little frog. Like a, just a little dude. I also like the wisteria just because I relate to her. You know, drooping and sleeping all day. Let me know which one was your favourite, or your least favourite. I won't cry, I promise. If I didn't talk much during this video, I'm sorry, I was concentrating super hard on drawing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.